emerge, Joe Tran Jr. Heck of a run, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I tell you what, did you know how close second place was? I figured he had to be really close because when I got up to the lap cars, I actually started to back it off some because I didn't want to go in there and make a mistake. I was just hoping if I just stayed on the bottom and kept hitting my marks, um, I'd be all right. And I knew he was, I knew Jeff was behind me and I figured more than likely he's not going to go to the outside, I guess, unless he really has to. So I was like, man, I just hope I made the right decision and I guess it worked out. Well, I tell you what, you were you were really fast here the past couple of weeks. You really noticed the difference. What 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 changed in your program? Uh, I mean, we got a different car this year. We've been running a J and J the last three years, and over the winter we got a Maxim. Um, my dad's not sold on it yet, but to me it just feels a lot better. Um, I mean, it's not perfect a lot of the nights, but uh, to me it, it just responds to changes that I make on it where the other car just never did. No matter what I did, I could change everything on it and it never felt any different. Well, certainly are a contender uh, each and every week here, that's for sure. Had some good runs and uh, like I said tonight, it was a heck of a race. You had us all up on the counter staring out the window to see what was going to happen. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I had a really good starting spot and that makes a big difference here and I just made my way through those first couple cars. You know, I just got them at the right times and uh, I figured if I was out in front, I'd you know, and, and could just uh, keep it, keep it from bouncing up on the, you know, out of the groove and stuff. I'm not much of a high groove guy. I mean, I do occasionally if I have to, but I prefer to run the bottom and, uh, you know, I just. Uh